This is Ali. Ali is an oyster from the Chesapeake Bay. Imagine your soul being eaten but your body saved, then having inserted you new life to regenerate and repopulate your own little world. That's Ali's existence. This is his story. In a place like the Chesapeake, his friends and family are in danger. The oyster population in the Chesapeake Bay is estimated to be less than 1% of population levels in the early 1800s. Humans are responsible, and not just because they enjoy eating oysters on a summer day. While overfishing is a problem, there are bigger, uh, fish to fry. When we drive our cars and run our factories, we release carbon dioxide into the air. When this carbon settles in the water, it makes the ocean more acidic, and this degrades the shells of oysters. And this is something you don't have to be an oyster to care about. Students at George Washington University participate in the Oyster Recycling Project under the direction of Dr. Tara Scully. We know more oysters means cleaner water, and so therefore we want to make sure that we're trying to figure out ways that are more effective and not just more effective in establishing those reefs, but preventing the degradation of the current reefs that we have. Oysters filter out the bay and are crucial for their ecosystems. And they create these three-dimensional structures and interesting caverns for little tiny invertebrates and critters all, of, all, of all kinds to actually live in. And all of those little invertebrates get eaten by bigger fish, which we like to eat. The local Chesapeake community is working to rebuild oyster reefs, and that's where Ollie comes into play. His story begins at the plate. 221 restaurants in the Chesapeake Bay area are part of the Shell Recycling Alliance. They sell oysters for their customers to enjoy, but save the shells, dropping them off at a location for the restoration process to begin. We work with uh, District Commons, a local restaurant here, and we acquire their shell, we clean it off. When Ollie gets to the lab, he is cleaned and washed, and then put on a rack to dry. This process can take a long time. Next up is Horn Point Lab, one of the largest oyster hatcheries on the East Coast, where baby oysters are planted on Ollie and he is brought back to the Chesapeake Bay. And the baby oysters can begin to develop and flourish. Ollie isn't the only mollusk with a higher calling. The Oyster Recovery Partnership has planted 6.7 billion oysters into the Chesapeake Bay since the project started in 1998. This is equal to the world population in 2006. This project could have a huge impact on the bay and its tributaries. If 40% of the Potomac was used for oysters, all of the excess nitrogen could be removed. This extra filtering would restore balance in the ecosystem, all thanks to Ali and his friends. This would mean cleaner water, healthier Chesapeake wildlife, and plentiful oysters for years to come. 